All right, for the final award, we're going to be talking about the Grand Jury Award. The Jury Award allows Indicate's distinguished award jurors to select a game they feel deserves a special citation for overall excellence. And that game is Quadrilateral Cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing up here. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, I'm just a guy who makes room games in his living room, and, you know, and, um, yeah, I mean, this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time, and it's, this is a great honor, so thanks to Indicade, thanks to, um, id Software for making this engine that I'm making, <laughs> and thanks, and, uh, this is quite an honor. Thank you very much. Yeah. It would be easy to think quadrilateral cowboy is just about reminding us what it used to be like to use a computer, having to type in commands on dreary black screens in blinking white cursors. I actually like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool back then. It was. We're, we're old. Okay. <laughs> the nostalgia of the sound of a modern a modem connecting to your ISP, the pain of configuring 256K of RAM to load your... That's a lot that of RAM. That was a lot of RAM. That's a lot of RAM. <laughs> All of those memories may be jogged when playing quadrilateral cowboy, but that isn't what makes games this special. It's that it actually lets you feel like you are there by providing a simple hacking language and interface at its core. It is that it twists on that simple concept of hacking in, into so many interesting ways that you want to keep playing and playing to find out the next new trick. It's that you discover there is no one way to solve a problem. It's a game that lives up to the promise for once of letting you hack. And that it manages to do this in a thoroughly entertaining, engaging, and well-executed way that makes it our choice for Grand Jury Prize. <laughs>